G'day all, this is a solar engine made by PMR, um, PM Research, PMR, it's the solar engine number three. It didn't come with a burner, so I made this out of a bit of copper pipe and brass handle and a brass spout, uh, aluminium cap and a little brass top breather hole. So I'll just put some metho in it. These can be a little bit uh, frustrating to get the first run until they warm up. Sometimes they go first go. Okay, that's a bit of metho in the burner. Put the cap on. Push that down. Just give that a bit of a, get some metho out. Yep, that's wet. Okay. Let's get it lighter. I'll light that. Yep. We've got some flame. Might just turn the lights off and see what it's like with the lights off. See if the camera can pick it up. Yeah, that might look a little bit better. Okay. Very, these can be very temperamental where you have the flame on them, so I'll try there. Let's see how we go. One, two. Oh, okay, and we'll try another one. No. Okay. As I said, they can be a little bit temperamental where you, you have the flame. We'll try here. As you can see that's going like clappers you can also probably pick up uh, watching the video that the slightest movement you can adjust the speed in them uh, but just a fun engine but I'll uh, I'll kick that over again I'll put the flame about there and see how it will start there we go. I'll adjust this a bit to see if I can get it going faster seems to like here
everyone can agree watching that video that that is one fine running engine flame gopper flame liquor whatever you want to call it uh, that's just that's just fun that's just beautiful I've read lots and lots of information about how they work the theory behind they work and uh, I, I'd be lying if I said I fully understand it I, I, I have a, a bit of a grasp on how it works but uh, to give you a 100% explanation on how a flame copper flame liquor works and to be a hundred percent right I won't go there because I'm pretty sure that I'd make a mistake in the description exactly how that flame getting sucked into there and cooling in that I don't know thousands of a second is enough to draw the piston in and then more flame goes in pushes it out with expansion that's sort of how it works but again I shouldn't have even touched on it because I'm probably wrong uh, that's a little piece of graphite there that covers the exhaust and the intake there you can you can hear it sucking even without flame you can hear it sucking but now that that's warmed up yeah I can't touch that now that's warmed up that should start relatively easy if I put that flame there. there we go. See that'll start. Yeah that'll start every go now. I've looked I've looked inside the chamber with a torch um, if you put a flame up to it and you go like that the first time and it doesn't start I've noticed that you can get a bit of condensation in there and the best thing to do is put this flame around there and uh, that the condensation comes like instantly the, the moment it doesn't fire if you look in there you, you can see that you've got condensation there if you put the flame there like that for a while maybe three minutes get that hot enough the condensation will burn off and then you should be able to put your flame somewhere where every I suppose every one of these and every flame liquor will be different but once you get the flame there once you get sorry once you get the flame in the right spot it should start especially if there's no condensation in there and you've pre-warm this if it doesn't start on the first go but now that it's warm every time that's pretty good even a small flick now should do it just wasn't enough to get over the that's just fantastic really happy with that okay as always thanks for watching bye now